right. Welcome, everyone. Thank you for joining us tonight for the South Bend Museum of Art's virtual fundraiser, Art Lights. My name is Megan Kerwin. I'm one of your co-hosts this evening. My other co-host this evening is Ali Patel over here. Hello. We've got some really awesome stuff in store for you. And you might recognize me as the tall redhead from previous Art Lights that's had the champagne sword. We're not going to be doing any of that this evening. But for the next half an hour or so, while you get settled in, we want you to listen to some awesome groovy tunes that we have over here by DJ Chuck Fry. And go ahead and click on to that Give Smart uh, web link that's found, found at the information section and the comments section. It's going to be pinned at the top for the Facebook. It's also going to be in the information. You can also find that link on the South Bend Museum of Arts website at southbendart.org. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and kick it on over to Allie over here because she's going to give you some pro tips on how to view tonight's event. Allie? Hello, friends. How is everybody tonight? Thank you, Meg. So I'm Allie Patel. Um, you may have seen me from my shop, Allie on the Boulevard, just down the street on Jefferson. Uh, but let's, let me tell you, so if you could please view this in your web browser um, on a computer or your um, or laptop, desktop, laptop, or a tablet, you also want to make sure you have like your cell phone available so that you can bid on items. Super important tonight, right? And then um, if you don't want to close out, you do not close out the browser, right? That's true. Keep, but, a, keep us here. So, and then also if you could share our, our feed tonight, that would be fantastic. Absolutely, we want to kind of get that Facebook algorithm boosted up. And so also fun. for those of you, like you were saying, when it comes to, if you only have one device to view us on tonight, that's okay. Our live auction item is going to be open for um, an 30 minutes. 30 minutes after yep. the event. So. Super exciting. It is super exciting. So um, let's take a peek. We're going to go take a peek yeah, at some of the items some of that we items. have. Let you guys listen to some tunes. Yeah, Allie, I'm so excited for tonight. And I'm really excited that we've been quarantine buddies throughout all of this stuff because I'm wearing my bedazzled mask tonight. But as you can see, we have some wonderful pieces of art that were donated by a bunch of our different board members as well as artists throughout the community. And uh, we have items number 101 through 121 from the auction are gonna be a part of our live auction. You can be able to tell those apart by logging in. When you go onto the Give Smart website, they will say live at the top uh, at the title. And that way, then you'll know, okay, this is the live auction item. All of the other items are gonna stay open until 9 p.m. on Sunday, November yeah. 1st. So you can tuck those kiddos in bed, hop back on your device, bid on your favorite item, and then uh, make sure that you're the winning bidder. Yeah. Which is pretty awesome. So we're gonna yeah. go ahead and uh, sit back, enjoy some of our favorite wine, pick up a glass of whiskey if you prefer, and enjoy the tunes provided here by DJ Chuck, and we'll be started around, right around six o'clock. I really like this piece. This is just a gorgeous piece. Dr. Druma. Dr. Druma. Dr. Druma.
Hello friends, thank you so much for joining us tonight. I'm Ali Patel and I am here next to uh, Kathy Dietz. She is kind of behind the scenes tonight. Um, I wanted to introduce her to you guys because we appreciate you being here with us, but we are not able to see your comments and questions, but we would 100% absolutely love you to comment and ask questions. Um, and Kathy's gonna be answering those for, for us tonight and uh, letting us know your questions and comments so we can maybe answer those back to you. So um, I do want to toss it across the room to Megan. She's over here with um, Casey Smallwood and Brandy uh, Bowman. They are also behind the scenes mavens over there. Um, they're working on our giving tree tonight, which is so, so cool. It's, it's Meg's little baby. I'll let her tell you about it. It's so cool. Thanks, Allie. Yeah, so it, if it wasn't for these two ladies and their hard work, as well as the ceramics crew that put together these pieces, the Giving Tree wouldn't be anything more than just an idea. And the Giving Tree was really our way of giving back to those that are donating to the Art Museum. So for every single donation that is given and made to the Art Museum this evening, uh, through the Giving Tree, that is, is going to be featured then and put have their names put on these actual tiles which are then going to be put into a permanent display museum mosaic it'll be on display in the permanent collection for years to come for everybody to be able to see that's which is so just, cool i love hey, it how do they how do they do this oh yeah cool so thing. <laughs> when you 
on, when you're on the normal site where you're saying the viewing the items, if you go back to home, on the actual home page before you click the view and bid items, if you just scroll down, you'll be able to see the stuff for the giving tree. So any donation of $25 on up, you will be able to get your name then featured on the giving tree. And we already have a bunch of names already on there. So thank you to all of those that have donated. Yes. We'll give you some shout outs this evening as they uh, continue to yeah, come in totally. too. So um, we're getting close to six o'clock. Yeah. So um, we're just going to enjoy a little Let's bit more music. Let's just enjoy some more music. Take stick a look around. at some more of the art and stick around. We've got about just under 15 minutes to go until we get everything kicked off and started with our live auction. So stay tuned. Thank you. 
All right, friends, we're gonna kick off the main event in just about eight more minutes. Stay tuned. We have so many exciting pieces of art coming your way and fun.
All right, everyone. Thank you for those of you who stuck around and were grooving with us while we listened to some awesome music provided here by DJ Chuck Fry. My name is Megan Kerwin. I am one of your co-hosts this evening alongside Ali Patel. And this is the Art Lights fundraiser for the South Bend Museum of Art. I'm so excited about tonight, Ali. It's, it's serious. We have some amazing pieces of art this evening. And for those of you who are wondering, no, I'm sorry, I will not be savoring open any bottles of champagne this evening. <laughs> oh, Fine art in champagne bottles, flying corks, you know, they just don't mix. <laughs> Anywho, I digress. We are going to kick off tonight's event with a few words from our executive director, Susan Visser. Susan? Thank you, Megan and Allie. You both look so beautiful. Thanks so much for being our, uh, our beautiful hostesses tonight. You're doing a great job. Thanks, Thanks so much. much. I want to welcome you all to the South Bend Museum of Art's uh, first virtual uh, art arts event. This is always a great event for the South Bend Museum of Art. We look forward to seeing all, all of our friends each year, our supporters. We love seeing you live, and we're sorry that's not happening this year. Um, but we think that you're going to really, really enjoy this event. Um, Megan and Allie are providing some style and flair. Chuck is giving us uh, great energy with his music, and TJ21 is uh, giving us all the polish that we need to make this just a really great event tonight. So thank you all for, for being with us. And just to remind you why we're here, South Museum of Art has been the City's Art Museum for almost 75 years. And we're proud to say that many youth and adults in the community have had their very first art making and art viewing experiences here at the South End Museum of Art. We're grateful for the, to the support of friends like you, um, which allow South End Museum of Art to grow, thrive, and discover new ways to work with the community in celebration of the arts. The museum's mission talks about the power of art. And we'd like to share with you now a video created by Chuck Fry, which demonstrates the power of art and the energy of art throughout the entire city as well as at the South Bend Museum of Art. We hope you enjoy it. Your city, your museum. <laughs> All right, sorry everybody. We're getting all distracted watching this video. <laughs> I love it. It seriously, it makes me get seri-eyed every single time that I see it. Chuck, I can't thank you and your video crew enough for that video. It was absolutely wonderful. So, before we get started with this evening, I'm gonna pass it on over to Allie here. She is going to go ahead and run you through some a quick pro tips on how to view us this evening. Yes, thank you. So, hello, I'm Allie Patel. I don't know if if you don't recognize me, uh, owner of Alley on the Boulevard, just down the street on Jefferson. Um, like Meg said, I'm going to give you some pro tips on how to view an optimal viewing capacity tonight. So you want to make sure that you're watching us tonight on your computer or your laptop, like a desktop computer or a laptop, or like on a tablet. 
You also want to make sure you have your cell phone handy so that you can use your phone to bid on auction items. Super important. The most important thing is you don't want to close out your web browser um, that you're viewing us in to go buy stuff. <laughs> so um, you also want to make sure, like if you don't have two devices, not everybody does, right? That's true. Um, you can always watch us until the end. The live auction items number 101 through 121. Correct closes at 7 30 so you'll have 30 minutes after the live to go and bid all right awesome super exciting um another thing oh yeah i got i got a couple more things on my paper okay so you can also share the event that would be really helpful for to us right That's true very helpful um another thing i need to do really quick is i want to thank some of our generous sponsors for their for their help um tj21 Notre Dame, uh, Teachers Credit Union, Barnes and Thornburg, the Snight Art Museum, Electronics Inc., and David Wemhoff, Attorney at Law. Thank you. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Allie. And I am so excited for tonight. We have 20 absolutely fantastic items that were donated by some of our board members as well as some local artists that are going to be up a part of our live auction this evening. We'll have a couple, as you can see, like this item right here and down here. We have a couple items that are going to be um, just a part of our silent auction this evening. But the majority of the items that we're talking about tonight are going to be a part of our live auction. The live auction, like Ali said, that goes until 7.30 this evening. And then uh, all of the silent auction items will actually continue to stay open until Sunday evening at yep. 9 p.m. Day Daylight Savings Day. That is true. Candy coma. Candy coma <laughs> for your kids. After you put them to bed and after they've had their candy coma, you can go ahead and uh, hop back on to the Give Smart website. That website link, you can find it. It's below, pinned in the comment section on Facebook. You'll also be able to find it um, in the information section, both on Facebook and YouTube. And um, like we said, those silent auction items will stay open until 9 p.m. And uh, the other tree, thing, yeah, the we need. can do a fund the needs. So we love to talk about our giving tree that we have here. So all of these wonderful tiles were created by our ceramic studio and individuals that um, will be able to have your name hand painted and drawn on after you donate. You can go and donate to the giving tree by going into the Give Smart website on the home page just before you click on to view and bid on items. You scroll down and there's the giving tree option. Anywhere from $25 on up, you'll be able to get your name on one of these tiles, which will then be put on display permanently in our art museum for years to come. Yeah, so, and they're, they're like, these gals are sitting over there. They're like doing it pretty they're like writing on them so beautifully yeah we're and doing we're, this live with yeah. it too we're going to be announcing some of those people that have donated already to those of you who have donated already thank you so much from the bottom of our hearts this fundraiser wouldn't be what it is without you meg that is so so cool i'm I, really i i don't want to forget to let you know at home friends we are not able to see your comments tonight um and answer questions um so we do have Kathy Dietz over across the room. She's sitting behind the computer answering questions. Um, and if you have some for us, she'll pass them on to us also. So um, let's get started with our first live auction item, Meg. All really exciting. Right. It is. So our very first live auction item is number 101. It is titled Two Trees, and this is by Alan Larkin. Two Trees is a beautiful etching donated by Alan. And just a little bit of info on Alan. Alan taught drawing and printmaking for almost 40 years at IUSB and has won many regional, national, and international competitions, including the 2016 Founders Award and the 2019 National Oil and Acrylics Painter Society Merit Award for his oil painting of the Carol Lombard Bridge in Fort Wayne. Cool. Now this print, is signed and numbered professionally, framed, good to go, ready to be hung up. And I'm gonna be honest, when it comes to the Southland Museum of Art, we are fortunate to actually have two of his permanent pieces in our permanent collection. 
All right, we are moving along now to number item number 102. This is titled Sticky, and this was donated and created by Bill Tortolot. Sticky is a two-color frame screen print donated by Bill. It has been matted and framed, so it's ready for display. And just a little bit on Bill. Bill is a visual artist and an arts educator and has been a lecturer in the Fine Arts Department at the Racklin School of the Arts at IUSB in printmaking since 2015. He worked as Chief Curator and Curator of Education at South Bend Museum of Art in 1995 all the way until 2004. Bill's a big advocate for art's ability to create a life, not just a living. He has witnessed the power of art change how people perceive and engage the world and the South Bend Museum of Art is fortunate to have two of his artworks in their permanent collection. That's now, so moving cool, on over, Meg. Yeah, now we're going over to Katie Neese. Nice. Who, who loves Fraser? I do. I love Fraser. The TV I show mean, Fraser. Niles is a hilarious guy. So we are on to item number 103, titled "If I Had Only Worn My Cotton Chinos." Now I don't remember which episode this was from. It makes me think of the episode when Niles caught his pants on fire with his iron and then caught his couch on fire because he was passing out from the blood. It just is absolutely hilarious. But anywho, I digress from that. Katie Neese donated this art piece and it was inspired, as we're saying, by the TV show Frasier, which is where she got the uh, title of the piece. Katie's art is described as having an early 20th century European avant-garde style with 90s American mall aesthetics. As a reference to an inherent optimism in a utopian future that has continually failed to materialize. It's pretty crazy. And Katie has participated in our 2015 Summer Art Fellowship. And this painting, it wraps around, so you don't have to worry about framing it. It is ready to go right here. And I feel fortunate. I have two Katie Nees paintings in my house right now. Mm. I absolutely love her artwork and I'm super excited about this piece. Really pretty. All right, let's move on over to items number 104 and 105. We have Meditation 3 and Meditation 6 by Joseph Segura. Joseph is an independent and collaborative artist and has been a painter and printmaker for over 40 years. As a Latino American, his artwork reflects his interest in a broad spectrum of diverse aesthetic possibilities. He gravitates towards work that asks more questions than provides answers. And he once said, I quote, we as humans find comfort in thinking we understand our world. In reality, what we know is minimal relative to the vastness of our universe. I believe we have moments we are given to understand our world differently. Many of us ignore these experiences because they make us feel uncomfortable. It is important for me to share those moments throughout my artwork, through my introspective landscapes. Joseph is on the board of trustees here at the South Bend Museum of Art, and he has art even in the Smithsonian, art in, uh, Smithsonian American Art Museum. And the South Bend Museum of Art has hosted an exhibition of him in 2018 titled Introspective Landscapes. Very cool. Somewhat like these. They're beautiful. Both of these color relief prints are signed and numbered by the artist. It looks like there's only 20 total that were created. Wow. And they have been professionally framed and ready to be hung. It's pretty Love awesome. It. All right, now moving along to item number 106, Growing a Hole by Mark Respenda. Growing a Hole is a framed abstract graphite and cut paper inlay drawing. Mark used paper as a means of exploring the delicate, mutable nature of things, uh, of our thinking process. He physically cuts into shreds and converts his drawings into a pulp. I think that's so cool. Love it. Parts and elements are exchanged between works with some evolving over the years. The images that result are moments within a stream of thinking and forgetting. Records of memories lost and found and just ever transforming. This is so cool. Yeah, I, you I, can't really see. I don't know if you can see, but we can see it here. How there's like texture to this piece. It's, it's really, really neat. It is really, really cool. Um, some of the other fun facts about Mark. He has been featured in a number of museums 
and is the winner of the 2016 Director's Choice Award, Art from the Heartland Exhibition. He's also the curator of exhibitions and collections right here at the South Bend Museum of Art. Oh, neat. Yeah. And this artwork has been signed on the back and the image has been professionally framed, so it is ready to be hung as well. All right, now on to probably my favorite piece of the evening. It is item number 119. I decided to go out of order for this because I just couldn't <laughs> wait to talk about this item. I was like, I want to talk about it early. All right, so here we have Blues, the Notorious RBG by Jake Webster. Now, really, let's talk about a conversation piece here. Like, yes. this is so cool. I feel like any time, anybody that came over to your house and you had this there, they would just be like, okay, I need it to give me the story. Let's have a picture. Let me know. Let I me love take it. a selfie. Exactly. Now, remember, you guys can bid on all of these items right now on, you follow, click the link that we have provided pinned to the top. Absolutely. Now, Jake, this sculpture that he created was inspired by the rock star Ruth Bader Ginsburg. And the bandana that you can see up here is in reference to the iconic collars and necklaces that Ruth would wear. So a couple more things that are about Jake. Jake is on our board of trustees and our collections committee. He has collections at a number of locations, including Ancilla College, Curious Kids Museum, Dismac and Corporate in Tennessee, Indiana State Museum, South Bend Heritage Foundation, and many more. So cool. He was a part of a conversation uh, series with the exhibition titled Passages in 2014. He's also the co-coordinator co of the South Bend Museum of Art Poetry event, an ekphrastic event for sharing the muse. I mean, is this not a muse you want to share? Come exactly. On, this is wonderful. <laughs> it's beautiful. He has repurposed a bunch of elements from daily life and incorporated them into this gorgeous sculpture. And I love this quote about from Jake. He once said, when one comes to view my work, there are only two, question, two questions one needs to ask. One, what the hell is he doing? <laughs> <laughs> because this is the courtesy and respect you give the artist. And then the second question is, how do I make my life better from this day forward? As a maker of art, the latter I ask myself every day. Jake, I love your art. I think this is a fabulous piece and I can't wait to see what it goes for. Let's go ahead and move along to our next item for the evening. We have item number 107, Main Street Bridge. Really cool. This is by- Very unique. It is. This is by McClovio Cantu. McClovio is a printmaker for South Bend and he's studying for his master's at IUSB with a bachelor's in fine arts and printmaking and minoring in drawing and painting. He was a part of our college residency program in 2015 and has taught printmaking classes during our summer camps. And this handmade quilt highlights a 2017 story regarding the treatment of the homeless population in South Bend, Indiana. It is just absolutely fascinating. I think it is so great. Beautiful piece. All right. Um, Meg. Yeah. I have a question. You have a question, but yeah. uh, you have, she has all the questions. <laughs> you have all the answers. I love it. Can you tell me what, what's a curator? I literally, you guys, I literally said. What's a curator? Yeah. All like, right, so I the need curator. I a little bit of a definition. All right, so, so the curator have... is the person that is in charge of putting up and picking out the artwork throughout the art museum. Um, making sure it fits with the overall theme, um, making what? sure everything is just done correctly. And like this wall right here. Yeah, like this wall right here. Could be somebody's wall to curate. It could, so that is one of our auction <laughs> items. It's towards the very bottom of the list of auction items. You see this wall here all the way stretching from this beautiful mural painting over to Chuck. You can be a guest curator for the evening and uh, be able, or for the evening, for the year. Year, yes. For an entire oh year, gosh, you get to pick amazing. out all of the artwork from our permanent collection that you would like to have up on the wall. You will get a plaque, like the plaques that you see around here for some of our other pieces of art that will have your name, a little bit of information about you and why it is that you picked the artwork that's up on here. But most and importantly, you get to have a party. <laughs> yep, afterwards, when you're all done and you've picked out all the artwork and it's hung, you get to have a cocktail reception afterwards. 
and invite all of your closest friends and family. It'll be a limited amount of people, especially due to COVID at least. We'll, we'll have to go by having a touch and go base, but you'll be able to have some of your closest friends and family out with you to be able to check out and view your curator debut. Love that, Meg. That's so cool. Okay, whoever wins that, can I be invited to the party, please? Yeah, I know, right? I want to go too. Please, pretty please. <laughs> All right, so um, we want to give a big thank you to some of our Giving Tree um, donors so far. We have, um, oh shucks, you know, didn't wear my glasses. All right, Deborah Bernhard, Leland McMillan, Allison Powers, Min Zhao, Chris Barron, Mitzi Sabato. Hey, Mitzi. Sarah E, Cynthia Wilson. All right, that was all. That's, all right. that's all for now. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> you guys are helping make our tree grow. It's looking so good. I'm excited. It's gonna I be great. Too. Well, thank um, you so much for that reminder, Allie. And, so, oh, really yeah. quick, hold on. We gotta. If you want to donate to help our giving tree get some more leaves on it tonight, please go to the South Bend Museum of Arts website, or you can click the link right pinned at the top of our live feed right here, right? Yep, that's right. Did I do good? You did perfect. <laughs> <laughs> All right, how about we get going on to our next set of auction items for this evening. We are on now item number 108. This is Landscape Platter, and it is created by Carrie Black. Carrie is on our board of trustees and she teaches a pottery class here at the South Bend Museum of Art. She believes that she has always been an artist her entire life. And she once said, it's really a matter of how you think and see the world. I love that. And because she's a teacher, she says, teaching means developing the capacity for problem solving. And ain't that the truth, seriously. <laughs> All right, Carrie is also a member of the board of directors at the Snipe Museum. She's the president of Northern Indiana Artists and a member of the Indiana Artists. She has a master's of fine arts from the Art Institute in Chicago. And this stoneware platter depicts a beautiful landscape painted using glazes in blues, greens, and browns. I absolutely love it. I feel like I'm a ship that is embarking on land and I'm just seeing it from the horizon. And it's just, it's a beautiful platter. This is just absolutely stunning, you guys. Meg, you should buy it. I really do, <laughs> I, but I don't know, I really want this one. I know, it's so pretty. <laughs> Can't have them all. I know. All right, well, moving along, we are now, this is so great. Oh, oh wait, no, actually, we're down to the okay. Shino Bowl, my bad. Oh. So we are, this is the Shino Bowl, item number 109 by Rob McLean. Don't drop it. Don't drop that out <laughs> I there. better put it down. It's so This pretty. stoneware bowl, <laughs> you're hilarious. This stoneware bowl has a beautiful border design and glaze uh, that was graciously donated by Ray. He's on our board of trustees and participated in our exhibition titled South Bend Selfie in 2015. He donated this gorgeous, gorgeous hand-thrown bowl that has that embossed pattern around the rim. It is just, it's very eclectic. I love it, it's, it's beautiful. All right, moving along to our next item. We are on to item number 110, which we're over here, to the Turtle Plate in Potawatomi. And this was donated by Kathy Fodness. And Kathy took her first class at the South Bend Museum of Art in 2009. And she's been here ever since. I love it. She's hooked. She is. Her previous works included include some tribal art that you can find hanging up at the hotel rooms in the Four Winds Casino in New Buffalo, Michigan. And uh, she sa once said, making pottery is relaxing yet stimulating. It's a meaningful and rewarding way to focus oneself and almost everyone has the ability to learn it. She likes to focus on functional pottery. And this large nature-inspired platter with blue and brown glazes is wired in the back so it can hang on, uh, hang on the wall or sit on a table if you'd like. I absolutely adore it. It's got some really pretty sky blue elements going on in there. Absolutely stunning and beautiful. Thank you so much, Kathy. All right, moving along. Peg Licky. Such a gorgeous Peg piece, Lickie number 111. Amazing job. So this is item number 111. 
called Homage to Frank Dudley. And is that not just the most beautiful homage to Frank Dudley? Beautiful. Peg has said that she's been drawing since she could hold a crayon, which is pretty awesome. She used to work as the director of marketing here at the South Bend Museum of Art and is currently a member of the Northern Indiana Pastel Society, which you can actually see this painting on their homepage. And uh, it's awesome. This beautiful pastel landscape has been, been professionally framed, and so it's safe to hang right away. And Peg has really perfectly captured the feeling of walking along the lake shore. It's a, it just reminds me of all the Frank Dudley pieces. He would be proud of you. Absolutely stunning job, Peg. Thank you so much. This is gonna go to a very happy home. All right, I love it. You're on board, Allie. Lucky scratch. We're on the lucky scratch number 112. This was donated by our very own Casey Smallwood. Thank you, so, Casey. Yeah, Casey. So Casey received her Master's in Fine Arts from the University okay. of Chicago in 2008. Her work has been included in the film and video screening Band of Outsiders at the College of Association, College of Association Arts and Art Space Media Lounge the Angels Gate Culture Center Exhibition, the Rapid Pulse, and the Rapid Pulse International Performance Festival. Wow, that was a mouthful. You're doing a good <laughs> job, girl. She is the curator of education here at the South Bend Museum of Art and helps with the Festival of Banners and the Scholastics Arts Awards. This handmade quilt with felt, denim, and hot fixed crystals is meant to hang on the wall um, using a hidden dowel that you can see on the back. It cool. is absolutely fantastic. I love it. Thank you so it's much, beautiful. Casey. And those are Swarovski crystals, too. They are. Sparkle, sparkle. All right. Where are we going now? along to 113 over okay. here. We're on Justin Barfield's piece. This is called I... Sacrifice for Progress. I think this one's so cool. I love it. So Justin received his Master's in Fine Arts at Notre Dame, and he has exhi uh, exhibits nationally and internationally. One of them, he, was, he had an exhibit in the Douro region of Portugal, which I think is so cool. I want to go there someday. Me too. Let's go. All right. <laughs> he participated in the South Bend Museum of Art selfie exhibition in 2015 as well, and he has taught printmaking during our summer camps. Oh. Justin is interested in our relationship with place. I think that's really cool. Yeah. And he addresses the relationship by highlighting the physical changes brought about by both human and nature. So humans and nature and how we, how we change things in our world. Sacrifice in Progress is signed and numbered. Um, it's a color relief print that has been matted and framed. And as you can see, it depicts a pelican that has uh, Dripping with oil, referring to our, rela our relationship with nature, because, you know, it's always a give and take, I feel like, with nature. I absolutely love it. Beautiful, beautiful piece. Thank you so much, Justin. Oh, man, I love it. All right, Allie, what do you think? How are we doing on all of our stuff? Should we go and talk about some more things? Yes. Um, I know I keep asking all the questions. That's okay. All right, but you have all the answers, so that's why I keep asking. I like answering that, the uh, questions. So tell us about the name. Name Wait, the Drive. Name the Drive, yeah, that's what it's. Yep. Well, the Name the Drive event is uh, an annual event that happens where uh, you'll be able to, we collect a bunch of different art and uh, donations throughout the community that go to underrepresented individuals throughout the community to be able to create art to the recipient of the Name the Drive auction item will have the option and the opportunity to name the drive. Oh, wow. And they'll have it for the entire year. They're gonna be on all of our printed material about that, as well as all of our donation boxes and buckets that are gonna be going out to different areas around the community. It's a great way to get your name out, especially if you're a business. This is a great way to get your name out there. I love it. So, And it's going to a good cause. It helps you know, get money donated towards events like the ones that we're having right now tonight. Sweet. Um, and events in the future when we can actually have other people hanging out with us. Um, um, I love that, Meg. Yeah, I do too. So some other ways people can help with Name the Drive is donating art supplies, right? Yeah, that's true. You can get some of that stuff that's like laying around the house that your kids just never used or that you never used. Um, and you can bring it in donate it to the art museum and we'll make sure that it finds a really good home for some of those under 
underserved youth out there that just don't have access to some of these nicer art supplies. I think I'm going to be cleaning out my art closet at home tonight. I Not love tonight, it. tomorrow. Maybe Saturday. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, thank you, Meg. You're so welcome. All right, friends. Um, if you're interested in any of the items that this oh, yeah. gal has just told you all about and that we've shown you, remember tonight you go to the link that is pinned at the top of our feed and um, bid on them, right? Heck yeah. You just have until 7.30 yeah. this evening to bid on all of the live auction items. After that, those items will go hidden. You won't be able to bid on them anymore. Sorry, but whoever it is is the last bidder and the highest bidder you're the winner of those uh, live auction items you won't be notified though until sunday evening at 9 p.m when our silent auction items are out of close so 9 p.m is when all of our silent auction items end all right and uh, remember it's daylight savings oh yeah that's true so adjust accordingly we should probably check in on our giving tree though right oh you're right let's see do we have any more names that we can ask about ask casey about all right, let me go see all over here. All right. Um, all right, Who do we Susan have? Visser, thank oh, you. Yeah. Thank you, Susan. Nancy Yoakum, Patel family, I wonder who that was. Oh, hey. Rebecca Allen. Oh, hi, Mom. Tammy <laughs> McNally, Kate Mishler. Oh, Kate. Nanny Kate. Fred, I don't know. Kegel. Ro and Fred um, Kegel and Ro Ramona Huck. Huck. I love right. it. You know your young eyes are better than mine. I, I can't see. I need I've, my got, glasses. I've got that better that's like, what is it, 20, 15, 20 or <gasps> 20, 20 15? What so, is it that I can see fast, past further? I don't know. I'm too vain to wear my glasses. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> well, hey, we have a little bit of extra time before we want to go over to our next set of our live auction items. Let's look at some of our really cool uh, silent auction items that we've got, but also oh. let's talk about Allie's necklace that we have oh. on the uh, site right now. Yes, okay, so at, I got my start here at the South End Art Museum. Did I, you know that? I did know that you told me once. I didn't know I, it before you told me. I have been making jewelry for 20 years almost as, as for my business. And I took classes here at the South End Art Museum to learn some wire wrapping, some technique. And that's like what catapulted me. That's so cool. To like do it full time. So. Um, we at my shop, we do a cause every quarter, and this quarter is the South Bend Art Museum. So this necklace, oh gosh darn it. Here, I'll hold it up for you. There we go. So um, this necklace is $30. Every dollar besides the tax, <laughs> gotta pay Uncle Sam, goes to the South Bend Art Museum. And um, it's just so beautiful. You can buy it on the bid now. You can also buy it on our website, um, alleyontheboulevard.com. And then it's also available in our store too. I, I'm, I'm too. rocking one of these necklaces right now, as you can see. So, I'm doing like a double, double uh, layering, layering situation yeah. because Allie always says layering on your necklaces is like <laughs> an awesome way to go. It's an 18 inch chain, right? Yep, and sterling but silver. Sterling silver and gold plated. Yep, the, the leather disc is, we try to keep it classic so that it's a piece that you will want to wear more often than not. Oh yeah, and then it'll, it's, it's going to last over the years and through the, the length of time, yeah. which is going to be great. And uh, Allie has these really cool uh, necklace extenders too. So if you wanted to be able to have this necklace be a bit longer, you can buy one of those. And it's great to be able to give you a little bit more length to this necklace. But I absolutely love it. I'm keeping this one. I'm going to buy it and donate towards the art museum Yay, because of you. it. You're thank welcome. You. Thank you. All right. All right. Well, we are. We can talk about some more art. Let's talk about some more Show art. Show the people all the things. Yeah. Well, right. we are on, so our next auction item for this evening is Reflection by David Lester Learn. It's item number 114, like I said. Now, David teaches painting at the South Bend Museum of Art and has been a teacher for over 10 years. I love his description of himself as a teacher. He said, I teach my students from a real world perspective. Now, I think this is because David doesn't have a teaching degree. He just, he's been a teacher because He's an artist and artists were valued for their craft and being able to teach students their craft that in that way. David so has beautiful. an exhibition record of over 20 single person, so just him solo, 
exhibitions and 88 collaborative exhibitions in museums and galleries all over in the US, England, France, Scotland, and Italy. I think that's so awesome. I want to go to Scotland one day. He has worked in uh, works also that are in public and private spaces in the US, Canada, Italy, Spain, and even Switzerland, which is just awesome. He's generously donated reflections as an abstract painting on cam, it's an oil painting on canvas. And the sides, if you can't see, the sides are painted, so no need to frame this piece. It is ready to go and ready to be hung. All right. Moving Beautiful. along, right next to our reflections piece is our next item. We have item number 115, Waning Western Summer Days, Mother Earth Series by Mitzi Sabato. Mitzi studied art at the Art Institute of Chicago and worked at the Museum of Contemporary Art in Chicago, which is awesome. She's on our board of trustees and is chair of our collections committee. And when she's not helping out out in the vineyards at Iron Hand, where she's a partner at. She's, uh, you can check her out in some of our behind the scenes South Bend Museum of Art videos that are great, where she's actually in there and helping Brandy clean some of these pieces because art needs to be maintained when it's hung up in a gallery. And you can check out some of those behind the scenes of them. It's pretty cool. She has uh, two of her art pieces are in our permanent collection here at the Art Museum. And this closed form sculpture is inspired by the earth, our mother, and the landscape. I swear, Matt, this is why we need to have more shelves in our house, <laughs> so I can hang and, and put art like this on it. I just, it's beautiful. We love you, Mitzi. Thank we you. We love you. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right. We're going to celebrate. Across. We're going to go celebrate. Dun, dun, dun. OK, so Casey and her husband. No, Brandy and her no. husband. So we've got item number 116, oh, Celebrate fire. Life, right here. This is created by Brandy Bowman, and this is a hand-painted bottle of wine that uh, is a three-liter bottle of the 2015 Bogle Phantom Red Blend. Super yummy. It is delicious wine. Um, they have a thing going. They do, I know, they do. Meg will tell you, sorry, I'm so, interrupting. Brandy, a little, a few things about Brandy. Brandy's a freelance artist and currently works at the South Bend Museum of Art as the associate curator. She's an experienced painter and printmaker who has a love for the traditional objects such as portraits, still life, and landscapes. Brandy has sold her work throughout the U.S. and has participated in solo and group, group exhibitions in both Michigan in, and Indiana. In a statement about this piece of art, Brandy said, I have always been intrigued by how different cultures honor life and death. They symbolize traditions that pass to young generations, and it seems to live on even if they get diluted or modified. Dia de los Muertos, also known as Day of the Dead, may seem over-commercialized to some, but the history and the traditions rooted in the Mexican culture is such a beautiful way to honor the lives of loved ones. And this painting was inspired by women I have known throughout my life and celebrates all women who have passed on. I love, love, love. So not only do you have, this is like a functional piece of art in the sense that you get to drink that wine first if you want. I mean, you should drink it. I really think you should drink it because it's delicious. And on top of it then, you have a permanent piece of art that you can hang up and put on your shelves that I apparently don't really have very many of, but uh, yeah, you can put it up on the shelf and just have it on display, have it be a conversation piece. It's absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much, Brandy. Now, moving along, we've got James Jersonick's item over here, item number 117. This is a hand-painted five-liter bottle of Luigi Reggetti Amarone. Whoa, it's an that Italian was... wine. Oh, it's a delicious wine. <laughs> this is a wine that has the ability to age, especially because it's a five-liter bottle. The bigger the bottle of wine, the longer it can age. I'm gonna be bidding on this. Especially, but especially because it's Amarone. Amarone, Google Amarone, you'll thank me for it later. <laughs> And it goes great with foie gras and blue cheese. Oh my God, so good. <laughs> anyway, I digress. <laughs> I'll buy it for you. <laughs> so James, I'm gonna give you a bit of information about James. 
He is an artist and a creative director at Pathfinders Advertising Agency in Mishawaka, Indiana. And this man is a man of many hats, including illustrator, art decorator, graphic designer, photographer, cardboard sculptor, marketing conceptor, product developer, manager of fires. I am so curious about this brand. Manager, manager of, of fires? fires. I just want to know. He's a coach. He's a student. A uh, headline generator, trade show go-to guy. Everybody needs one of those. Yeesh. Popcorn aficionado. What? God, you know, I thought I liked popcorn. This guy really <laughs> likes it. Sports Good nut, fiber. podcast dude. And last but certainly not least, he is the husband to Brandy Bowman. Aww. So I sense some... Uh, There's a rivalry going here. Going on here between these two bottles. We got to make sure Brandy's gets bit up, but I feel like he's got an unfair advantage. He's got Amarone and it's a five liter bottle versus a three liter bottle. Well, you know, we should do like the, the volume math on exactly how much the bottles go for. All right. Cost per ounce. Does everybody still remember how to bid? I'm bidding now. Oh yeah. Dang it. I'm the highest bidder. Right okay. Now. I won't. Steal it. <laughs> oh, you can bid if you want it. <laughs> I was going to get it for you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah, you want to go ahead and tell people a bit more about yeah, what's going so on in bidding? If you guys remember, uh, you want to go onto the South Bend Museums of Arts website. Yeah, southbendart.org. And click the link, and that'll get you into the Give, is it Give Smart? Yes, Give, Give Smart. Smart app. And then from there, this wasn't on my paper. I wasn't ready for this. Okay. <laughs> you can see all the things. That you can bid on there's a couple things that actually don't have any bids yet what come on people come let's on. go into a good cause this is like something that you can write off on your taxes right like i think so it's like a charity yeah so charity donation you can put yeah. that in most importantly it's going to a good it's cause. it's going to a wonderful cause to help so the museum if if you are able to give we would so appreciate that you do that and Absolutely. in return for giving you get a beautiful piece of art or wine Absolutely. And you know what? We want to kind of show, since we have a little bit of extra time here, I'm going to pull over oh, here. We've got some cool things. Wait a things. minute. This, you guys, I picked this up earlier because this mama needs this bag. This is on our silent auction, which does not close till Sunday, which is daylight savings day, the day after Halloween, when we're in a candy coma. But this <laughs> is... <laughs> I, I'm not going to eat any candy. It's a wonderful right? Italian leather bag. I am obsessed with this. I might steal this tonight. And it comes with its own carrier bag. We have it inside, so you can make sure that it doesn't get any of those dust bunnies on it. It has a shoulder strap because yeah, you know one. this, the little handle. Jessica, I know you're watching. Do you remember the time we bought those cute bags with this little handle and we were like, oh my gosh, my forearm's on fire. This has the shoulder strap. I love it. All right, so this is like perfect. And this is like a value. I want to say this bag is $500, $500 online. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and it's brand spanking new, still has the tags on it. Beautiful, beautiful bag. We also, we've got two of these available, these Yeti tubs. How cool. I mean, come on. I feel like, Allie, if we didn't have all the wines in here in our Tito's helmet, which is also in the auction. Wait a second, you guys. She wanted me to get in there. I did. I was like, no, in. I don't think I can get in there in my dress. <laughs> but seriously, you can fit a small human inside yes. of this thing. It yeah. is awesome. And the best part, it does not sweat. No, we do not want so to you put any humans in worry. there. You don't have to worry about, like, all of your, like, the water condensating. Yeah. Like, if you wanted to have this inside, you wouldn't have to worry about ruining your hardwood floors because it doesn't sweat. It's awesome. I, and it's coming with six bottles of delicious wine. All right, I'm bidding on it right now. Yeah, it's so good. There's yeah. two of them. So oh, we've got two boy. of them available. Here then we go. moving along, we also have this awesome Tito's helmet. It is an official helmet. It's not like a fake one. It's for real. Mm-hmm. And um, the you, Cricket Maker. Oh, no, I'm taking that. Don't even talk about that I thing. know she doesn't want me to talk about it because she <laughs> wants it so bad which is a really cool, and also this is one thing that doesn't come with it um, normally. Is it a circuit the, or a cricket? No, it's a I cricket. I think it's called cricket, yeah. <laughs> it's really cool, you can do all sorts of art stuff with it, right? So true. Yeah. What, all right. what other live auction items do we have? Should we get on yeah. going? Yeah. All right, we only have a few left for us tonight, and our next one is A Note from Color Town by Alex Allen. It's this awesome guitar. Can I play it? 
it is functional. Yeah, oh. it's ready to be played. It's been restrung and everything. Okay. So a couple things on Alex. Alex is a self-taught artist who took a leap of faith last year and quit her job so she could dedicate all of her time to her craft. You might remember her from about a year ago this month, actually. She was on the news featuring one of her paintings of Mayor Pete. She has said in reference to creating art, it is the reason why I get up in the morning, why my feet move. And my goal is just to continue to do this, hopefully until I'm 80. Well, I hope you do too. You do a fantastic job, Alex. Alex has painted, you might recognize this artwork because she has painted a number of murals around the city. I love oh, her DNA. Yeah. The DNA mural that she did over on the, um, over by Vicky's is just gorgeous. Mm -hmm. And I wonder if uh, she, she can hopes do my... to inspire joy to all that experience her work. And this gar guitar has been uh, recently uh, newly strung, so it's got brand new strings on it, and it's ready to play. I would play for you, but um, that's my job. I'm not good. Just I kidding. don't play guitar. <laughs> Matt plays guitar. Yes, so. but it's an awesome guitar, and uh, definitely go ahead and bid on that one. It's going to go for a lot. I love it. All right, we are on to our second to last live auction item this evening, which a lot of people have been gaga about because it's mm -hmm. so cool. Item number 120, the Dark Power KA by Michael Whalen. Now, Michael Whalen is one of the world's premier painters in imaginative realism. For 40 years, he has created book and album covers for authors and musicians like Stephen King, Ray Bradbury, Ray Bradbury, sorry, Brandon Sanderson, The Jacksons, and Meatloaf. His clients have included even major U.S. book publishers, the National Geographic Society, CBS Records, and the Franklin Mint. A graduate of San Jose State University with a BA in painting and a President Scholar, Michael went on to attend the Art Center College of Design, also in California, but he dropped out to accept his first book and cover assignment. He soon became known for his dedication to bringing an author's words to life, and Whalen's covers dominated the science fiction and fantasy field throughout the 1980s and the 1990s, as you can see here. He's, he was uh, largely responsible for the realistic style of genre cover, covers of that area, and his stunning color and compositions have influenced many artists to this day. His non-commissioned works are established collections throughout the world. South Bend Museum of Art was seriously lucky to have Michael Whalen's work as a part of the Korshak Collections and World Builders Exhibition last year. Cool. This is absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Thank you so much, Michael. Love it. All right, alligator. Okay. We're about done here. Are we? We want to look at any more of our cool, like, silent auction items. Look, we've got this right. Amber Supremet gift basket. There's cookies in there, guys. There's so cookies. I want you guys, um, Ryan, can we get a close up of this piece, please? Because this piece, this doesn't have any bids on it right now, and it is so, so cool. Meg, where's your paper on? Oh, yeah, Who's... that is sticky. Yeah. yeah. Let's have so a little. So this is by Mark, our curator here at the Art Museum. And uh, yeah, this is an absolute, it's a graphite uh, drawing that he does. What he does is he likes to cut up a bunch of the different pieces of art and uh, will then create something as, as a result of it. And it's just, it almost, it's called digging a hole, but it almost reminds me of the way that like a, a white rose looks. It's just beautiful. It's really cool. It looked great. like. In a powder or but I don't know lots of places beautiful All piece right um and we didn't do number 109 uh-oh gotta, gotta love go live, live right I'm 109 on what is, what's that one called oh this is the Shino bowl oh we did that one oh, I yeah. held it and I was like I'm gonna drop so it this but is we one, yeah we have to do 121 mm. I, I was about to say 109 121, the very last one. Yeah, 121. This is okay. our very last auction item for the evening. And this is a stoneware platter by Bill Kremer. And it was donated by our very own Suzanne Miller. Suzanne, if you're out there, we miss Aww, you. Aw, Suzanne. Bill Kremer is a ceramics artist and educator who teaches ceramics at the University of Notre Dame. 
His work represents both ceramic sculptures and traditional pottery. He is known for his work and innovations using large scale molds as a means of construction, constructs uh, sculptural vessel forms. The resulting forms are salt fired in a, get this, 30 foot Anagama wood fired kiln. Whoa. Like Suzanne, I feel like I understand why you love this piece of art so much because Aww. of how cool it is that this was fired in an ancient type of a kiln that has some Japanese and East Asian history. This type of kiln process, fly ash and volatile salts and the minerals uh, of the clay body form a natural ash glaze that shows in great variation of color, which you can see on the platter. It is so cool and so beautiful. I'll hold it up. Uh, Kremer's work has been exhibited around the country and has been represented by numerous commercial galleries. His work has been shown in more than 150 exhibitions and he's conducted more than 30 workshops and lectures. The South Bend Museum of Art is happy to have two of his works in our permanent collection. So thank you very much. All right, alligator. All right, it so looks, what's we're wrapping next? on up with our evening. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Thank you so much, everyone. And thank you for everyone that has bid and donated on items this evening. It has been absolutely fantastic. Uh, Susan, it would be fantastic to have you come up here to thank some of our committee members. Whoop, you dropped your phone. Uh oh. <laughs> All right, Allie, well, Susan's on her way up. Um, All right, I want to just take a minute to thank some of our sponsors. TJ21, these guys are awesome. They they're, really are. They're, they're, they're like our film crew. Um, we want to also thank Notre Dame, Teachers Credit Union, Barnes and Thornburg. Um, we would also like to thank the Snight Mu Museum um, of Art, the Electronics Inc., and David Wemhoff, Attorney at Law. Did I get awesome. everybody? Yeah. We seriously appreciate you guys more than you know. Thank you very much. And let's not forget, we have a couple more of our Giving Tree donors. We've got oh. Marilyn Knight, Matt Teeters. Oh. I love you, babe. Oh. Amanda Harris. Hi, oh, Amanda. And Kathy Respenda. Oh, thank you so much, Kathy. And Jan's watching, by the and way. Jan. <gasps> Hi, That's Jan. Awesome. Hi, Jan. <laughs> well, we got some Oklahoma viewers. Heck yeah. <laughs> All right, Susan. Okay, I have some thank yous to extend also. First of all, to Megan and Allie, extraordinary. Aww. Thank you so much. Mostly thank Meg. You. It's like mostly her. No, <laughs> you guys are great. You're a great team and it's just really been fun. So thank you so much for, for just making the evening. Um, I also want to thank the rest of the committee. Uh, Brandy Bowman, Casey Smallwood, Nancy Yoakum, Claudia Maslowski, Kathy Deet, Suzanne Miller, Allie Powers, and um, we also want to thank all the businesses which donated the items in the baskets. We have gift certificates. They're and, so awesome. Uh, in addition to all the sponsors that have been mentioned, mentioned, all of these businesses that have donated all of these wonderful items for the baskets are also really great sponsors. So we thank all of those people. And we thank all of you all out there for, for being with us tonight and for supporting the South Bend Museum of Art. Um, we've had a great time. I hope you've had a great time. Um, I just, I could watch Megan and Allie all night. Aww. Well, thank you, Don't Susan. Susan. So, yeah. <laughs> Seriously, a huge thank you to you thank as you. well for yeah, being a part you. of this committee and for being here to help us create this event this evening. It's been yeah. fabulous. Thank, thank you. you. And thank you, you guys, Allie. seriously, I'm going to... I'm going to get away from the paper. <laughs> <laughs> Meg, this has been such an honor to work alongside you. This gal has worked tirelessly on this event, getting all of the items donated. Like, it's on the thing, it says co-chairs. I would say you're like 90% chair. And it's been such an honor. You're such a hard worker. Thank and you. I'm proud of you. And I can't thank you enough for all you do for the love of art. So thank you to Meg. Thank you. Um, before I forget really quick, oh, um, art like social. So we had a scavenger hunt. Which it's going to go on until it, Sunday. So you still have a chance. Yes. So there are banners 
posted around town at m some stores. I don't know, maybe like we've got an alley on the boulevard. There's one at um, Hammer and Quill, Cafe Navarre. You can see one at Citywide and I think also at Zen Cafe. And there's also one here in the art museum. So you can come and visit the art museum this weekend and check it on out. You gotta take a selfie with the banner, post it on social using the hashtag art lights. Post it on Instagram if possible. Yep, or Facebook. Yeah, that's true. We'll cool. look at all the places. But yeah, Instagram, because she's already done them a lot, right? Yeah, Instagram. Okay. Well, Instagram is the easiest way to look at it. So, so um, and you get uh, $80 in gift cards to therapeutic indulgence, a candle from my store, fabulous stuff. And it will help um, share the love of the event. Of the art museum, absolutely. So thank you so much, everyone, for joining us. Thank um, you. We're going to send you off with another look at our South Bend Museum of Art promo video that is so gorgeous that Chuck has um, made for us. So thank you so evening. much, everyone. Thank you, friends. thank you. Thank you so much.